Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Grayson Tate, and I'm actually filming this for the second time. I was not very smart yesterday, and I deleted the footage, so this is going to be a, an even better review than what I was going to do yesterday. Today, we're talking about the Logitech Casa keyboard. It's a folio that is a case, a trackpad, keyboard, and laptop stand all in one. Now, this product was really interesting to me. I saw it on TikTok a bunch last year because it actually came out in the, I think, UK first, and it was available for months. There were some reviews, but almost all of the content I could find was sponsored. Once it finally came to the US, I was really excited to get my hands on it. I have the teal version that has the black interior, but it also comes in a really great pink option and a white with purple. Just to give context, I work remote and I sometimes work at a co-working space during the week. When I'm at the co-working space, I love being able to get out of the house, but looking down at my laptop all day is definitely not ideal. It's recommended that you have the top of your screen at eye level. So obviously with a laptop and if it's on a desk, it's going to be too low and you're looking down and then you get tech neck and that's not what we want. So since I am in that position, I wanted to do find something that was more ergonomic depending on where I was working. So what I've been actually using for a while is a couple of things. I have this 12 South stand. It's the Curve Flex stand. And what's cool about it is that it's relatively thin, but I can open it and it gets much, much larger. This is a lot of vertical distance off of a desk. And then the laptop sits here and the screen opens. So with this option, I can get a lot of space in between the laptop and the desk, and so my entire posture can sit more upright. With the Logitech Casa, you can do something similar, but I'll get into that in a second. The other two things that I use are an MX Keys Logitech keyboard and a Magic Trackpad from Apple. I really didn't think I was gonna like using a trackpad, but I've gotten used to it and it's been amazing. Obviously, it's super similar to what you have on your actual laptop, and if you haven't used one before, I would definitely suggest it. So what do I think about the Logitech Casa? It is a great option for a very specific set of people. My main concerns are around the weight, just the general size, and the height that it elevates your laptop to. So when I first got the product, I think it's great. I think if you do not have a mouse or trackpad or keyboard already, then the $179 price makes a bit more sense because you get those two products included, then you get a case, and then you get a laptop stand. Within the case, you actually have a little storage compartment too, which is helpful to keep cords and things like that. But then we get into actually using it, and I used it for a couple of weeks to see how I felt, and I really liked it. The keyboard is a fantastic keyboard. The trackpad is pretty good. There's a couple differences with the trackpad than what I'm used to, which is where some of my cons come into play. The trackpad itself is actually very thick and it clicks, physically clicks in. It's like there's clearly a motion. Now, the reason why I mention this is because with the Apple Magic trackpad, it's a lot thinner, which you notice when your hand is resting on the desk. The main difference between the two is that the, tra the Magic trackpad has motors built in, so when you press on it, it simulates a click. The Logitech does not do it that way. It is an actual physical click. So something that you do 100 million times a day actually requires a little bit more effort, which took some getting used to. Something about the trackpad that I think is worth mentioning, I don't think anybody else has made a, a Bluetooth trackpad that works with Macs before, and I understand why. When you pair the trackpad to your Mac, the Mac is only going to see the trackpad as a mouse. It does not understand that it's a trackpad. So you have to install Logitech Options Plus, it's Logitech software, and then that software makes all of the gestures and the trackpad pieces work for your computer. It's a small thing and the application is easy to set up and it doesn't take a lot of processing power, but I noticed that every now and then the trackpad would all of a sudden not respond to like swiping gestures or when I was trying to like pan around and you know get a different view. It wouldn't respond and I think that that was just the application either lagging or disconnecting or some, there was a technical issue there. So that was actually kind of surprising to me because obviously when you are using a trackpad from Apple it feels really natural and the Logitech trackpad is pretty close to that but there is you know you can tell there's a little bit of a difference which at least I'm super detail oriented and I notice. With the trackpad and with the keyboard, you can actually connect up the three devices, which is really nice if you have like a tablet or another computer or you have a work computer and it's easy. There's a button on the back of the trackpad and there's a button on the keyboard and you can just swap in between, you know, all of your devices. 
And if you're not a trackpad person, good luck because they're never going to make a version of this with a mouse because I don't think that they could get it to fit in the right space. So let's take the keyboard and the trackpad away and let's just focus on the actual case. My main issue with this case is that it is thick. It is like an inch thick. So when you pair it with your laptop, that's like quite a bulky set. And the stand portion is great. It just doesn't get very high. And I understand why they did this. One, just restraints of the product and the design, I understand. But the Mac screen, like an Apple laptop, only opens so much. And so when you actually put it on the stand from Logitech, it props it up so the screen is perfectly vertical. And that's great, so that way there's not a weird angle issue. But when I'm sitting at a desk, it only comes off the desk probably five or six inches, which is a nice benefit, but it feels a little crazy to have a laptop that's like right there in front of you and then have a keyboard and trackpad in front of it. With something like my current setup, the Flex, I actually, the laptop is so much higher off the ground, I put my keyboard and my trackpad in this space and then I can get the entire setup closer to me and it feels more appropriate that I'm using peripherals because the laptop is like literally out of reach. So long story short, the Logitech Casa is a great product. I think it's the right price. I think it's really well designed and all the peripherals are high quality. It's just not really the solution for me that I was hoping it would be. I think if they could figure out a new design to make the stand option more flexible or get more height or have a different component there, it would make a bit more sense. But because the entire package is so heavy and thick, taking a keyboard trackpad and a stand with me is actually pretty similar, if not easier, because they don't all have to be together and I can shove them in in different places in my bag. So if you work from home, I think that this might be an option for you. If you're using your computer at home kind of infrequently, then this is gonna be amazing. If you live in a really small apartment and you don't have room for a desk, this is also a really good option. Or if you travel a bunch, I could see it fitting for you. But if you have the opportunity, I would try and go into a store and see if they have one on display. If, you know, this video did not answer all of your questions. If you guys have any more, please leave them in the comments. I will answer anything you guys need. Um, it was a really fun experiment. I, I love seeing that Logitech is trying to make new different types of products like this to match our life a little bit better. But in general, I think a version two would be perfect. So that's my video today. I, like I said, I already recorded this. So sorry if I missed something. My brain's a little scattered, but I am so excited to see all of my new subscribers join. Hi, thank you so much. And if you like this video, you know, you know what to do in the comments below. You know what to do with all the little buttons below. And I'll see you guys next week.